What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you had never been here before, my name is Daniel Williams. This is the Cedar Ridge Chronicle. If you hadn't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. All right, I've got a pretty unique video today. This is gonna be kind of cool. I did this one time before and it worked out you know, pretty well. So we're gonna do it again this time on camera and I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. What I'm gonna do is take a skull that I have saved from an existing skull mount that somebody had shoulder mounted. And I just cut the antlers out of it and I've got this skull, it's been painted. But the antlers that we put the artificial velvet on, on one of my other videos, we're going to reattach that to this skull and make a European mount. Gentleman that wanted this deer mounted, decided to change his mind and go with a skull mount and asked me if I could put it onto a skull. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to get it looking just as good as we can and get it back to him. Uh, what I've done, I've cut a piece of wood, just a small piece of scrap pine. It's going to fit right down in there like that. Sits fairly flush. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount these antlers to that piece of wood with some screws. And what's going to happen is that's going to be like an anchor when we put that in here, we're going to fill this cavity with Bondo, and then we're going to sink this down into that Bondo, and then Bondo over the top of it, and kind of fill that in the best that we can. Let that dry, and then we're going to go back around it, and we're going to epoxy around all of the edges and cracks and try to smooth that out to where there's a good transition right there. All right, I'm going to anchor this from the back side so that we can try to sink these screws enough where they won't be seen. there ought to do it. Mark me a couple of holes. Get a small bit here. I don't want to bust that wood the best that I can. Alrighty. Okay, and we're gonna mix up some Bondo. I've cut another little piece of wood and put down in the bottom of that skull to brace it up just a little bit so that those antlers sit flush. We'll see if we can make this work. I think that's going to be enough. Just about out of hardener. Take that. Put it right down on top of that wood. Just like that. So we're going to take this and put it right down in there where we want it to sit. Just like that. Okay, that's gonna make the antlers stand on the skull. You can still move them just a little bit where it's sitting in that Bondo, but it's not completely attached. So what we'll do is we're gonna start with our epoxy. We're gonna start filling in these gaps. And as that dries, we're gonna make sure that that's right where we want it to stay and where it's gonna dry. All right, our Bondo is cured. It's dried and cooled off. 
Now we're going to get our epoxy sculpt mixed up. We're going to take this and just start packing in around these cracks and around these edges. Trying to keep it fairly smooth where we're going to transition back into the skull from the skull cap. Okay, this is starting to kind of get tacky just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit more along that seam right there. There we go. Let me show y'all something. I've taken a piece of copper wire and bent it several times where it looks like this right here. You can see what that looks like. The top of that skull, you know, they've all got those weird little wavy lines in between the joints of the bones. If you ever have to rebuild any with epoxy, just take this Press it in just like that a couple times. It'll rebuild those lines right there. Go back to the back. Finish this on in right here. We're going to come right up over the top of the skull where these screws are at. And we're going to stay away from the joints of the bone here and here so that that's going to stay looking a little bit more natural, even though we're going to have to paint it, which I don't like having to do, but with something like this, you really don't have a choice. Okay, now, there's really not a whole lot that we can do until that dries. And once it dries, we're gonna come back with some really fine sandpaper and make sure that the edges are tapered right down into the bone. The, this step right here is the best time to try to do that. You can get it just really, really thin. But once it dries, you may notice a little spot here or there that you may have to go back and fix. Okay, our epoxy's dry. We got our skull all dressed up now. Looks like he's got on his shower cap. We're gonna take him outside and we're going to spray paint him. What I've done is just wrap the bottom of the antlers real lightly in saran wrap. And then I just put a bag over the rest of the antlers. Gonna be using Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White Ultra Matte 
This right here is my favorite to use to spray a skull if I have to spray a skull. Set that down for a minute. We're gonna let it dry. And we can go back over it once it dries and hit any spots that we missed. This isn't completely dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic stuff off of here. It doesn't look too bad. The transition's actually better than I was hoping it was gonna be with that epoxy is. Now I'm just gonna to touch up around the bases of those antlers. We all, that right there's just about got it. I kind of like how it turned out. Not too bad. So anyway, that's how you put some antlers back onto a skull. <laughs> so if y'all ever have to try to do that, maybe this will help you out. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. Check the links down below for some of the stuff that I use to make this. And we will see y'all next time.